Welcome, and good morning to another edition of the Friday Morning Commute with your host, Rogan Dud. It's a beautiful Friday morning. If beautiful equals overcla- overcast and slightly windy with the chance of thunderstorms, which to me, kind of does. So, we're going to go with, it's a good morning. Now, I hope everyone has had a eventful and fun Friday. So far, I know our UK friends are looking for the end of the work day. Thank you for joining everyone. And I am just starting the work day, so I'm excited about that. So we'll see what all comes our way. As usual, we're going to start off our morning with Zer's weekly inventory. Hope it is enjoyable for the most. So this is the 31st week. Of Zur year two. We have Helm of Saint 14 for Titans. We have the Young Ahamkara Spine Gauntlets for Hunters. We have the Starfire Protocol Body Armor for Warlocks. The Bad Juju Pulse Rifle for All. And then Legacy Exotic Special Weapon Engrams. Now, remember that Legacy Weapons, Legacy Armor Engrams are for Year One Exotics only. So, you don't need it unless you're trying to collect all of the year one exotics of that variety. With that being said, it should be weighted towards exotics you currently don't own. So, there's a higher chance you'll get a unique, as long as you have uniques to find, than it is you'll get a repeat year one exotic. Now, this week was the April update. For Destiny. Uh, it's a brand new infusion of content. And if your expectations were set correctly, it should be just enough content to keep you excited through the fall update or up to the fall update coming this fall. Now, if you read the, the This Week at Bungie weekly update, you'll see that as with every big release, there's a few patch notes that are few issues that he patched and they're going to take care of this. One of them was people not getting the armor, specific armor (sighs) specific armor package from logging in. So with this April update we get a sterling treasure package just by logging in. This didn't happen for some people. I know one person in particular that this didn't happen for. So, Bungie's going to figure out why. I think has already found out why. They're going to fix it and then try to give them it back to them. Uh, hopefully by next week, so that that reset, everything will be hunky dory, fine and dandy. Now, as for the rest of the update. There's some really good stuff going in there. We've got Prison of Elders has been revitalized, brought forward with Year 2 Glory, as I should say. We have the Challenge Mode, we have the, um, the Points, and I'm really excited to get in and try Prison of Elders and try a lot of this in-game content that I really just didn't have time and didn't really push to get towards. I think one of the things that really helped me to explore as much as I could of year one before year one ended was the push for the moments of triumph. Now with Destiny 2 coming in 2017, I doubt we'll see this moments of triumph for year two. Who knows, this might have been a one time thing for year one players to say, you know what, you stuck with us through year one, you completed all these things, these are the hardest things you can do, and thank you for for beating them and sticking around with us this long. So, I am super interested in seeing what happens over the next four months as we wait for the fall update to come. Now, with that being said,
there are some people who are rushing through this content. Um, so, as you as you might have heard, we've gotten to light level 335 now. That's the cap. That's the new cap. Infusions are one to one. So if you infuse a weapon in, all of that light goes instead of an average. And some people were just really lucky. They edged themselves correctly and were already made it to 335 by the just a few hours in. Now My thought is, why ruin the content within the first three hours of the day? And it may have been they just got extremely lucky, but I know there are some people who just want to be that max light, no matter what. Some people are just going to rush a game as fast as they can. That's just who they are. They want to get it in, they want to get in, they want to get done, they want to get on with life. Maybe they're going back to Division or... Black Ops 3, I don't know. Or, another thing, and this, I hope is more the case. They got to max life by helping other people in the community complete these events. So, with the Prison of Elders, if you're running with two to three other people and working as a coordinated team, you can actually do the prison challenge in a substantial or in a uh, less significant amount of time and if you do this for multiple people then you may not get the weekly reward reward from it but you're going to get the still gonna get have the engrams drop you're still gonna have the items drop and you're still gonna have the rewards at the end so it makes sense that it's possible if you run enough people through that you're going to level up your own character by helping other char other people's characters level up. And so that's one of the things I'm excited about seeing in this community is the revival of PoE runs. Back in year one, right when I started, House of Wolves came out. I literally started like the week before... House, House of Wolves dropped. So, I remember with excitement running through the storyline of like, let's hunt down this fallen Kel named Skolas. And then once you've killed him, or once you've captured him, let's go and defeat him in the prison. You know, face him one last time, put him out of his misery, have fun. Yeah, that was fun. And it took me and a few of my clanmates a good two to three, maybe more tries. I think I did like four or five times. Tr attempted four or five times. Um, each attempt was like three to four out five hours. It was insane. And... I finally did it right before the Taken King reset and I was so excited because I completed my moments of triumph. Now, school loss is still the same old, same old. I mean, now, at this point, he's going to be easier now than he ever was. But that, that sense of challenge and that sense of there's going to be new mechanics that are running in the prison for the challenge mode and the level 41 challenge mode, it makes me really excited. I, I can't wait to get back in there with the fire team and just have at it. It looks like a fun time. See all the old bosses again, play with their mechanics, feel the burns or the modifiers. Ugh. Now, Another update that we've had, or another change with this update, is that there's a new variant of the Winter's Run Strike. So, if you remember from year one, the Winter's Run Strike, you went to prevent the Winters 
the Fallen House from opening an Archon cell that was stolen from the Prison of Elders. Well, just imagine him taken a bide, and I hope that sets your spine a shiver, because that's what we're going to encounter. And with that being said, it should be a lot of fun to tr play that strike and to try to get the taken variant of his weapon. All things said and done, I am excited about this new content. Um, it gives me, as long as I have time, which seems to be a fleeting, fleeting aspect for me, as long as I have the time, gives me the ability to play this content and to enjoy it for all six of my guardians. Now, you're going all six, but, 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 Robin, but Doug, there's only three, three characters per console. It's like, yes, I, I have both the PlayStation 4, and I just recently picked up an Xbox One through circumstances that were less than ideal, but I went with it anyway. So, that being said, I'm going to look forward to playing with, playing my characters with them, playing with friends that are both on the PS4 as well as the Xbox, and just having a grand old time. I'm just hoping that when it's all said and done, I'm still working on the content in September, or playing with friends, and that's one of the things I that I feel Destiny has done right, is it's a place to come together with friends and to play and to experience the game with each other. You don't see a quite as helpful community anywhere else other than I've seen in the Destiny community and the Destiny directory. You see it in some other places, but you, you almost have this common denominator of, oh, they played Destiny at one point, or they know a Destiny streamer, they got into the Destiny community, even if they're another variety streamer, which is something that I'm kind of slowly morphing into, you're, you're, if you played Destiny, if you streamed Destiny, and you've gotten in that community, then you, you really, you really get to know how that community wants to see success for those in the directory, and those that are repeatedly making a name for themselves in that directory, which makes me excited that I'm even a streamer at all, so that I can get to meet these people who are literally shaping the face of the Destiny directory and giving new life to this community. I'm really excited, and I hope you guys have caught that. I probably have blabbered way too much, but when it's all said and done, this community in this game is one of my passions. And so, I'm looking forward to playing this April update. I know it's not going to be be all end all, and it's gonna take us time to unlock every aspect of it unless we throw money at it. And I hope you don't throw money at it because that would waste your money and your time and just make the game not fun. Because if you haven't heard, you can get up to three sterling treasures once a week. Logging in, the weekly crucible and the present elders. So it's possible to get three in a week 
and with the Sterling Treasure you unlock all the armor and stuff that is fun. Anyways, one more time we'll go over Zer before I head out. So we've got the Hell of Saint 14 for Titans, the Young Ahamkara Spine for Hunters, the Starfire Protocol for Warlocks, Bad Juju for everyone, and the Legacy Exotic Special Weapon in ground for those who are still looking for Year 1 Special Weapons. Again, this is your host, Roven Doug, signing out. Follow me on Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch, all under the same username. And follow me on here, here on Periscope as well to see whenever I go live. See you, Starside Guardians.